everyone and welcome back to my channel Divinely Guided Tarot. If you're new here, my name is Angel and I'm here to bring you another general collective energy reading. This message could be for all signs, so please remember to take only what resonates with your particular situation. Leave the rest behind as always. And guys, thank you so very much for all of your likes, your subscribes, your shares, all of your comments, everything that you do to help get these messages out to their intended um, is greatly, greatly appreciated. I couldn't do this channel without you. Your energy is beautiful, and what you bring forward to this table is an honor to read. So thank you guys for everything that you do out in the world. Um, this is just a quick reminder that our Divinely Guided Gift Raffle is still live till the end of this month. Uh, winners will be announced on August 1st. We'll actually be drawing them um, right here on the video camera for you so you'll be able to see who's actually selected at that time. Um, I'm also opening up our new members portal which is available. All descriptions and links are down below in the description box for you, okay? Holy Spirit, please come through, help shield, guard, and protect this portal while I channel divinely guided messages for my divinely guided subscribers. Help us with messages intended for their um, their divine paths, their areas in love and romance, their careers. Uh, please place a hedge of protection around them and around their families at this time, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what the divine wants to talk to you about today. Holy Spirit, what do you have for my, my collective here? We have high honor. Very nice energy coming out on the board. High honor. I'm not surprised to see that for you, Collective, um, given that this is a light worker channel and you are a light worker. No doubt. We have the pathway. Look at all of the butterflies going down that path. Portal of light ahead of you. You are being divinely led, divinely guided along your journey. You're going through a lot of upgrades right now, like as in upgrades in life, not like as in like gifts or anything like that. I mean, it could be gifts, but I don't necessarily see like gifts that you're upgrading in. It's like you're upgrading in status, upgrading in rank, like things are coming a little bit easier for you. Your blessings are starting to come in. That's very nice. I like seeing that energy. It is definitely refreshing. And look, we've got the marriage card here. I'm not 100% sure if this is actually like romantic love or marriage or partnership like that. I think that this may be a partnership with the divine, to be very honest with you. So let's go ahead and take a look into the tarot. I want to peek into the tarot a little bit here. And we want to get a little bit more clarification on what's going on, okay? Hmm, Holy Spirit. What do you got for us here? We have high honor. We have this partnership on the board. We have this divine calling, this pathway, this being led you are leading my collective, Holy Spirit, so tell us a little bit about what you're leading them to. Holy Spirit, what do we got? I can pick up this card. Yeah, six of swords right there. You're definitely being divinely led down this pathway. New journey with the full card here. Stepping out into some kind of calling. Some kind of mission. Being led out of anxiety and destruction and darkness. You were led out of a very dark period of your life to start a new journey. Mmm... I see, I see, okay, okay, I like it, I like it. There's a lot of trust that goes into having a relationship with the divine, you know? This is about sacrificing your pain 
and the things that you don't want for your life any longer and calling in what you do want. It's like you traded this, this Ten of Swords here and you've asked for Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles. You know? It's like you were like, I want to see it all. I want to see all of it. Ooh, I like it. Oh, yeah. You got the Four of Wands here. A lot of celebration. Like the divine is celebrating you. This is also a marriage card. This may actually be marriage, but I don't see this being as a romantic union. It's like you're, you're marrying the divine and you're choosing a life with the divine. Like you're swearing celibacy and life of servitude, like, you could be entering into a monastery or you could be entering into a congregation where your 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 life is just in service but i don't i don't see that either like it's like you're marrying the divine, like you're marrying the planet, you're marrying the universe. It's a union between you and your guides and, and your ancestors. It's not like, it's not like a romantic partnership, but it is a union of sorts. This is the seven of swords coming out. This is saying that, you know, we delivered you out of this 10 of swords. We took you out of this seven of swords. We took all of that betrayal everything that you suffered and we're taking you out of it. We're starting a new journey. We're trading in swords for wands. Holy Spirit, what did my collective do to earn this high honor? What is granting them this high honor? You've gone through all of your lessons, okay? They say that you're holding your nine of pentacles energy right now, which means that You've completed years of lessons, hardships, overcome obstacle after obstacle. And now everything has started to just kind of come together. This always reminds me of a person who likes to garden, for instance. Starts off with rocky, soily ground and tends it and year after year. Um, you know, you may add a little bit of extra, you may add some bulbs here one year, you may put in some landscape lighting, you might actually um, build up your landscape so that way it's self-sufficient, that way it grows back every year and it's little to no maintenance. And you're self-sufficient, okay? You're enjoying all of the fruits of your labors here. You don't have a care in the world. Because you don't need anybody to survive. You just need God. That's the only one you worry about. And that is what earned you your title and status as high honor in the 5D. You earn that by doing the work, by doing the healing. Holy Spirit, give us a little bit more about this calling, this union that's coming into play. Queen of Cups energy. So we have a lot of compassion inside of you. Now she's been coming out a little bit here in the last couple of readings that I've done. Um, definitely somebody who is very, very calm. And they're saying that, that that particular trait is going to be very, very important in your future. So if you're going to need to have a very calming presence, I wonder if you're going to be in more hostile kind of environments or environments where you may have a lot of pushback. You know what I mean? Like maybe people don't agree with what you say or may treat you bad um, because they don't understand you. And people who don't understand or who are scared of something new will end up trying to hurt you in the end. Um, so this... This nature that you have about you, this compassion for all people, 
this is kind of what I associate a light worker card to be. It's that level of compassion that you need in order to live a life of service to the divine. You can't have an offensive heart. You have to have that ability to kind of just say, you know, yes, I know you did bad things, but, you know, I'm willing to overlook that because God already forgave you too. And I can see that you're obviously moving in the right direction. Now, not to say that you shouldn't walk away from individuals who are not trying to heal and just trying to keep you. That's not what we're talking about here. This is saying that you don't have a, a spirit of retaliation. You're not going to let the unpleasant or unkind words of one person drag you down and stop you from delivering God's message. They waved. Um, they're making me feel really, really relaxed right now. Kind of like having like a couple glasses of wine, but it's just mellow, very calm. 11, 11 on the clock. This is the present, like your energy is very calming. It's even slowing me down a little bit and bringing me down a little. So that's the presence that you're giving to people. When you walk into a room, you kind of bring everybody just that sense of calming peace, um, that giving nature that you have. And Spirit says that they have a plan for you, not that you're planning for anything. I feel like you've been praying for, you know, Spirit to move <laughs> because you're tired of sitting there with your hands in your pocket. But this Holy Spirit is telling me right now that um, they've had plans for you for a long time and that everything that you're doing right now is divinely timed. So you're on the right track. They're telling me to just tell you to keep listening to what they're telling you to do. Whatever their instructions are to you, to continue on with that. It's looking like you are going to be in some kind of warfare. Like spiritual warfare. You have the key. You have something here. You have something here that is going to be very beneficial for the collective. Something that you do for mankind. Something that you contribute to society. It's really, really important. And I can't, I can't see it clearly. All I can see is the high honor that's attached to it. But there's a lot of fog around this, this card, around this Ace of Pentacles. Like the opportunity that leads you to this, this destiny, this part of this timeline, is cloaked in this really thick fog. And I can see... Hmm... There's something slithering in the fog that doesn't want you to get anywhere near this journey. It's like how somebody would consider going back in time to, to um, change history, to change the way things happen. Like this is an individual who doesn't even want you to begin on your course. They said they see this individual that's threatened by you, that's hiding in this fog that I can't see just yet. We're going to look for him. But him, them, oh, it could be a her. Anyways, um, whatever is hiding in here, it knows that you've been fed visions of the future, visions of your calling, visions of your mission. Like you have not something important that you want to build or create or design. Like you want to put your, your work for the divine above all else. Because you see the blessings and the benefits that will happen from it. Ooh, 
collective. I do like this. This is beautiful. But I want to figure out what's going on, what's hidden in this fog, okay? Because there's a deception there. There's a deception there. There's a roadblock there that is that is blocking this this journey and it's kind of thrown me off a little bit and I don't I don't like being thrown off. I don't like things that are being hidden. I don't like how it looks great on the surface but there's fog on a card. And look, manifesting death? No. See there's there's something up. There's something there's something hidden and I want to just go ahead and stop. Let's do a redirect and try to figure out what is hiding. You cannot hide. There, there will be no deception in my collective's lives. And if this timeline has any kind of deception woven in it, we are going to call it out in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, please come through and reveal what is hidden in this Ace of Pentacles. What is hiding in the fog that is trying to stop my collective from moving forward? They're showing me a black slithering tail. Like, like a velociraptor, you know, like lurking in thick fog, picking people off one by one who wander through, trying to go through that portal on this Ace of Pentacles here, trying to get to that doorway, but there's velociraptors in the tall grass before you can get to that, that path. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't want to face a velociraptor. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'd be scared. I'd be like, no, I can't. <laughs> no dinosaurs, please. Um, yeah, so it's a little bit daunting, and I, I don't like... Oh, you got to be kidding me. Look at that. Look at that. Yes, Holy Spirit, thank you so much. Reveal. Reveal to me, please. It's going to take all of your courage... To follow the mission that the divine wants you to go on. And see all this opposition in front of you? All eight of those wands standing behind you. And you're holding the only shepherd staff. There's monsters lurking in this fog. And I want it revealed. Holy Spirit, please reveal to me who is hiding in this fog. What is hiding in this fog? What is trying to stop my collective? from moving forward. We have a King of Wands. King of Wands is hiding in this fog. This could be a Scorpio or a Sagittarius. This is definitely somebody who is not afraid to tell their opinion on anything. This is an individual who doesn't want you to move on to your mission, doesn't want you to move on to through this path. They don't want you going for that final pinnacle. And I feel like this may be a scorned lover. That's what it feels like, guys. And this reminds me of an individual who you dated for a long time, they had a lot of control over you, like they used their wand against you. Like they seduced you, and then they would go cold. And then they would break up with you, and then they would get back together with you when it was convenient for them, or when they wanted something. And then as soon as they, they got bored with you, they went on to something else. Like, this individual didn't see you for your value. Well, they saw you, and they saw who you were, but they were mostly jealous. They were very jealous of your ranking. They were jealous of your your you being chosen. They're jealous of your partnership and your union with the divine. That's what that is. They're jealous of your relationship with God. They wanted you all for themselves, but you're giving God your everything. That's why this marriage card came out. You are married to the divine. You chose the divine over this. You love God more than you love the king of wands. 
Good for you, collective. I would too. This individual hasn't treated you very well at all. This individual is a control freak, for lack of better words. They are addicted to the hunt. They are addicted to the chase. Once they get what they, ha they want, they're on to the next challenge. And you collective said, no more. You can't have me. It's driving them nuts. Because this last pentacle here, I believe, because like, remember, like I said, you're already in that marriage with the divine. You're sitting at nine of pentacles here. I believe this tenth pentacle here is going to complete a romantic connection. That's what I believe. That's what they're, they're showing me. Yeah. Look at that, guys. Knight of Pentacles and the Emperor card. The Tenth Pentacle is coming, and it's a divine counterpart. I can't make this up, you guys. I can't make it up. The Tenth Pentacle is riding in like a knight in shining armor on the back of a horse. Here, excuse me, miss. I have... A romantic connection for you. Abundance and stability and completing everything that a man should be doing for his wife. Like, it's everything. <laughs> the emperor's coming in. This could be a twin flame connection for you. This could be a high-level soulmate connection for you. But this tenth pentacle coming through is definitely a guarantee. There is a lot of cloud and fog on this pathway. Because this King of Wands, this Scorpio, this Sagittarius does not want you to move forward through that gateway, through that portal. But the Divine says it doesn't matter what God wants to do, God will do. And this King of Wands is going to need to basically just bow out gracefully at this point. I don't see you wanting this individual back because this individual abused you. And you have a real emperor coming in, collective. You know what I mean? Ooh, yeah. Get your queen of swords on, collective. My divine feminines in this group that this is resonating with. Like, you're not messing around. You're done. You're fed up. This compassion that you have is not going to be taken advantage of anymore. So you're reserving your compassionate queen of cups energy for this emperor that's coming in it's actually hiding if you can see like on the table here the emperor is laying on top of this queen of um, cups just like this and it's almost like he's shielding her from having that cup that cup is actually covered up he's shielding her blessings so nobody can take advantage of her I like that. And it's resting above the marriage card. It's like marriage all the way around. But it's like you had to marry the divine before you could come into union with your divine counterpart. And this energy right here, this queen of swords energy, you do not judge people. Remember we talked about how you just have this, this neutral kind of unselfish way about you. Like, you have no spirit of retaliation. You don't ever want to hurt anybody's feelings. But you also know how to draw lines in the concrete. You know? And you know how to hold your ground. Ooh. Dang, collective. I mean, you can make a Scorpio shake in his boots. You can do anything. <laughs> you know what I mean? Holy Spirit, can you clarify a little bit more about this emperor coming through for my collective? And what else you want my collective to know? Yeah, we got the moon card coming out. Um, this individual is going to be revealing um, and ripping the mask off of everything deceptive that is in your energy right now, collective. So I feel like it's going to be years of conditioning. And you got the full out here again. This new journey is going to be unpacking years of conditioning, conditioned abuse and conditioned lies 
that you were subjected to under the hands of a deceptive king of wands energy. And collective, I can't see anything better than an emperor coming through and saying, I want to start a new life with you. I want to start a new journey with you. I have that last pentacle for you. You know what I mean? It's beautiful energy, you guys. Holy Spirit, give us some closing messages, please. Ten of cups. Did I not say that? Ten of cups, guys. Man, the divine love, the harmony, the blissful relationship, support from the divine. And the King of Wands, and this landed just right here on the King of Wands. The Five of Cups is going to be sitting there looking down at all the things that he just poured out on the ground wastefully. He took advantage of you. He abused his privilege with you as a counterpart and you walked away. And now he has to watch you come into union with somebody else. He has to watch you transform your life into something beautiful. And you deserve a collective. You do deserve this. Holy Spirit, I would love to have messages for my divine masculines and divine feminines in the group that this message is residing with. Um, let us know what messages we need to know for the future timeline. So many of the same cards came out. The Fool came out twice. Ace of Pentacles came out twice. Ooh, I love it. All right. Holy Spirit, provide three for us, please. One, two, three. There we go. Let's take a look and see what the first one is. <clears throat> God will cover me with his wings. I will be safe in his care. His faithfulness will protect and defend me. I need not fear any dangers at night or sudden attacks during the day. And that's Psalm chapter 91, verse 4 through 5. Guys, isn't that beautiful to say that this emperor it wants to shield, guard, and protect you? Isn't that beautiful that God does the exact same thing? That your angels are doing the exact same thing? Everybody is protecting you. Everybody wants to be your, your shield and your sword to defend you. Wow. If you didn't know how loved you were, that scripture explains it all right there. Especially with how this, this reading is playing out. People can't let you go. New love coming in. Your angels and your guides are all just loving you. Loving, 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 loving you. And I love you. And this is great, you guys. I I mean, come on. It's the new journey. With him. The guy, you know? Whew. Whew. <laughs> Let everything I do be done in love. True love to God and man as inspired by God's love for me. 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 14. Let everything you do be in love. You were made to love and you were made to be loved. Unconditional love collective. And that's the, the message here that lines up with this Ten of Cups. This unconditional love, this divine love. That's what divine love is. This Ten of Cups and this scripture go together. They line up together. They're talking about the exact same thing. God's divine love, that rainbow, those cups overflowing, the joy, the children, the laughter, the, the, the union, we pulled out the marriage card for you. That was marrying the divine. 
this is all tying together. Your relationship with God is your most precious, precious attribute. Your relationship with God. It is highly valued. They're letting me know that you share things with God that normal people, like the average human being wouldn't think to do. Like you commentate inside your head to God. Like God's watching your life in a, as a television program. Like the Truman Show. You know? And I heard somebody else talk about the Truman Show quite recently. It was another reader out here. And for the life of me, I cannot think of who it was. But that's what this vibe feels like. Like you show God your life through your eyes on purpose. Like you're broadcasting your life on purpose to the divine. Showing them, like sharing your life. And it's beautiful because there's so much intention behind it, so much forethought, you know, and I, I, I think that's beautiful. The way your mind thinks, the way it, it, it attacks a problem is beautiful. That's what they're telling me, the way you attack problems that everybody finds difficult in life. Like you attack it in such a way that it just makes sense and there's such a calming presence about you. A peacefulness. You attack everything with that calm, with that love. That'll be specific for somebody. <laughs> the Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the suffering and afflicted. He has sent me to comfort the brokenhearted, to announce liberty to captives, and to open the eyes of the blind. Isaiah chapter 61, verse 1. I love that. You were meant to do much more than be tied energetically to a king of wands that is just jealous of your blessings and wanting to control you and wanting to be the one that says where you can go and what you can do and what you can wear and what you can eat what friends you're allowed to have. No, you were meant to lay hands on people and heal them. You were meant to heal souls, you guys. I love it. Your energy is beautiful. You're beautiful. I can't wait to see you get together with this emperor. It's going to be a very, very beautiful divine match. Okay, guys? I'm going to go ahead and close this reading out now and uh, wish you all a wonderful rest of your evening. If you like this vibe, come and join this tribe. Hit that subscribe button on the way out and uh, come and join this family. Um, again, if you are interested in becoming a member, um, receiving any kind of personal readings, I am opening that up to members only. Details in the description box below. And guys, thank you so very much again for everything you're doing out in the community. If you, um, if you have a prayer request, I'm being led to ask you to please place it in the comment section below of this video. There are going to be individuals who will be praying for you that will be wanting to step forward, who will be dealing with the same things that you're going through right now, Collective. I don't know who this is for, and I apologize kind of throwing this in very last second, but if you are in need of prayer or have a specific prayer request out, please put it in the comment section below myself and anybody willing to um, aid an extra prayer for you will be able to find that information and uh, help you out there. So hoping all is well for you and um, just wanted you to stay safe, let you know how, how loved you are. Take care of yourselves, everyone, and God bless you.